I've been asked to do a giveaway for a long time now, so I'm going to do one for 2,000 Artix points. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, leave a like on the video, and comment down below. Uh, that's all you have to do. I will be picking one comment from one of the videos I upload from today until TLAPD Talk Like a Pirate Day on the 16th of September. So, if you want to win, leave a comment, leave a like, and make sure you're subscribed. Let's get in to the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, we have a bunch of Adventure Quest news. I'm going to go over all the information we know about TLAPD, uh, Talk Like a Pirate Day. I'm going to go over a bunch of new items added to the game, and we have a lot of info on new events. So let's get into the video. Alright, this Friday, I'm pretty sure this is this Friday, I might be wrong, but we will be doing the Zorbax Legion event, DracoCon 2016, Treasure Gathering, and more! Sounds uh, like a good event. Hopefully, it's going to be good. I think Elena said a lot of the items will be drops from the event, which I'm liking this new trend. And uh, I like Zorbax as an NPC. It's a pretty fun NPC. Let's see what's up next. We have really cool armor uh, from Z. Z's a good artist. He has blades in the shop right now. If you want some of Z's blades, you can buy them in the game right now. But he's been working on this art for this concept that someone made. A Lilith made the concept for his art. It actually looks really cool. The set might be in game. I mean, he spent a lot of time on it, obviously, and it looks really nice. I just want to throw that in there. It might not be in the game. It might be in the game. It looks very nice. Hopefully, we'll see that in the game. All right, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, it is known in the game of bones. You slay or you die. Adventure Quest World's 8th anniversary event begins Friday, October 14th. So if you didn't know, um, Adventure Quest Worlds came out of beta in October, uh, on the 14th, I guess. So, maybe not on the 14th, that just might be the Friday of that month. And that's one day after my birthday, which is convenient. So, um, if you don't know, if you have a membership in the month of October, you get the Upholder Badge. There'll be the 8th Upholder this year, that was last year's, the 7th. And the 5th was the first year I had a membership on this account. So, um... And I think I think I could have gotten on the fourth if I bought a membership or yeah whatever. Uh, but the eighth upholder badge will be available uh, right there because the anniversary is in October. So they've already confirmed. Maybe maybe it'll be a Game of Thrones themed event. That would be amazing. Let's move on to the next piece of news. Okay, I kind of already showed this, but. We have the September bonus upgrade gear. It looks really cool. It's pirate themed because, of course, we're in September. And for AQW, that means the whole month is just themed around pirates because pirates are awesome. So we have the Royal Raider and the Dark Seas Ruler. The Dark Seas Ruler uh, is the 12-month membership or 12,000 ACs, which you have to buy the top tier packages for either ACs or membership to get that. Very nice dark armor. I wish I didn't have that little thing on the shoulder. I'd make the armors look a lot nicer, and then you get the red version for buying a minimum of 2k ACs, which is $10, or up to a 6-month membership. I think the 6-month membership should have a middle-of-the-road package, uh, and also with this, you get a pet if you buy the top-tier package, the 12-month or the 12k AC package, you get this pet. So, very cool packages, and definitely I'm going to be getting it for September. It looks very nice, and it also it's the best month to buy th something in Adventure Quest because of the navels. Speaking about navels, ooh, what a great segue. <laughs> um, I've already done videos on this, but in case you didn't see my previous videos, the two navels are already confirmed. We, are, we have two every TLAPD. This one is called uh, the Bright Naval Solar, yeah, Solar Naval, something about that. Uh, it's a very bright, a very orange naval. Not too big of a fan of this bright and orange. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of like a darker, more uh, intense, saturated orange. Uh, I mean, this kind of looks like a blandish orange, like a like an orange that just sat out in the sun on the sidewalk for a while. It reminds me a lot of the Ember Sea event, uh, where you get Blazebinder, that class. Uh, Blazebinder is a good class. And the Ember Sea event, I didn't like at all. I didn't like any of the art style in the Ember Sea event. I didn't like, I uh, just didn't like that event at all. Uh, not that it wasn't, not that the art in that event is bad. It's just not my taste. Uh, 
and neither is this navel, honestly. I mean, it looks nice, but if you look at the previous year's navels, actually, let's do that. Okay, thanks to the wiki for this list. Here's the list of all the navels. We can actually go through this really quick. So we got Blazing. <laughs> That's probably my favorite navel ever. That thing looks insane. Um, we have Brilliant. Very nice navel. This is actually uh, inspired a bunch of other armors in the game to this day. Bubblegum. Scallywag. Now this one, I like. I like it's pink. It's not the, it's not the best. Uh, we have the chaos this one looks very cool to this day and if my internet would load faster that'd be great so we have chaos navel this one i personally love chrono navel which looks insane oh, i wish i could get my hands on this we have the what's this called again the doom navel looks insane and the rotting version of that looks really nice the very popular doom knight navel Mm. Ah, my favorite seasonal armor in the game, Explorer Naval. The amazing, amazing Galactic Naval. Is that what it's called? Yes. Yes, it is. I got the name right. Not the best naval, but it's still very cool. The Icy Naval. Oh, what I wouldn't do for the Legion Naval. God damn, dude. This thing looks sick. Now, after the solar navel that isn't even out yet, this is definitely my second least favorite navel in the game. Uh, mechanical navel, but I still really like it. Um, it still looks really nice. Only 100 in the game. 100. Paragon Naval Commander 1. Only 100 of these in the game. The best navel I own, <laughs> the Paragon Naval, the one that isn't rare. Are, well, it is right right now, but the one that isn't the 1 in 100 version of it. The very shiny Platinum Naval. The very beautiful Undead Legion Naval. Oh my god, that is sexy. And last but not least on our list of navels, we have the Void Naval Commander. Very nice looking naval, and that's the last one on our list. So as you can see, guys, the list of navels is... Oh... I clicked on the wrong tab. Uh, the list of navels is pretty, pretty long, and there's a lot of really nice ones. They're not all nice, and I have to admit that Mehmet's uh, version of the navel, the solar navel that's going to be coming out this September, is definitely, definitely my least favorite one. But it's still a good armor. People are starting petitions to like change it and stuff, and. I wish they would add a third one this year, although that would break tradition. Although if we could have three every year, that'd be amazing. I would spend the other extra thousand ACs. I'd buy more ACs to spend. You should do that. You should do that. If someone's watching from artists, do that. Um, but it's not that bad. I'm still gonna buy it. It'll go good with the set. Hopefully they have some good helmets and capes and pets that go good with it to release with it. Otherwise, it's not, I I can't even think of items to put with this set. But there's a bright side to this story. The second naval, made by Dage himself, cursed naval. This looks insane. If you're a fan of pirates, like I am, who's not a fan of pirates, man? They're awesome. They go around, they don't fall, they don't play by anyone's rules, and they sail on ships everywhere and raid other ships. They're, they're awesome. And this looks like the most pirate themed naval we've ever had. It looks very pirate inspired, very nice. Of course, this isn't finished art, at least I don't think it's finished. It's a possible concept, but it, the name, uh, Curse Naval, has been confirmed as one of the navels that we're going to see this year. We haven't seen the finished art for this, and obviously this isn't finished. This looks like a, a sketch. Uh, it's not put in the flash or anything, I don't think. Um, it's probably done right now, honestly. If they sh they sh you should show us the finished art, please. It looks insane. I love the idea of it, and I can't wait to get that on T-L-A-P-D a horrible job of giving away my future topics on this news video but if you are living under a rock the limited quantity shop is back all the limited quantity gear i mean i've already talked about this a few times but there's, there's all, almost all of it still available so if you if you didn't see the past stuff i'm just throwing this in here real fast so still available still available that one's not still available still available still still that one's free for everyone so if you want a free pet uh 
it's available there. It's only 50,000 gold. Anyone can have it. Still available, still available. That one's gold. <laughs> still available, still available, still available. Almost all of it's still available, guys. You can still get all this stuff. Just go uh, type in your Google browser, AQWLQS, limited quantity shop. Uh, it'll bring you to this website. You sign in with your AQW account, and then you buy something uh, with your gold in-game or with your ACs in-game. And then it'll be a badge in your badge uh, area in AQW. So very good. There's still a bunch of free pets here if you haven't got it already. And that's also a free badge. So get it while it's there, guys. Let's move on to our next topic. Well, that's awkward. Uh, we don't have any more topics. Um, I could talk about AQ3D, although I don't really want to talk about AQ3D. But let's go over it real quick. So if you don't know, AQ3D is now mobile devices. If you, uh, if you got into AQ3D beta was it the beta the closed beta if you're playing aq3d right now that means you bought something in, uh, in another uh adventure quest game so if you did that you can get into the mobile beta it's only on android right now uh, it'll be on ios in the future of course i think ios is going to be the same time as open beta for aq3d also there's a bunch of uh, news about the halloween event they're doing for aq3d which looks actually really nice and i think i want to level up a character just for that event honestly so i'll probably do an aq3d stream in the future if someone's looking forward to that i did a poll on my twitter the other day and it was like 60 40 uh, 60 percent said no i shouldn't stream and like 40 people did and like almost uh, like i think about 50 people voted so it's a, a large amount of people voted and the consensus was that people didn't want to see me stream or, or more than half of the people didn't want to see me stream by quite a bit so but I will be doing a stream for AQ3D just to level up just for that event because it looks so great, the Halloween event. So, I'll be seeing you guys all in the next video. Remember, if you want to end the giveaway, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.